Hey guys, I want to do a video on this Furin 2 treatment. Uh, basically, not too long ago, I noticed in my tank that my zoanthids had some white spots on them and what appeared to be a little bit of fungus. So I went down to my local fish store and he recommended the Furin 2. And there weren't many videos on it, so I wanted to make one just to show you guys what I do. Uh, basically, you buy this box, Furin 2, I paid 8 bucks for it as you can see, it treats fish all kinds of fish diseases, sores, gill disease, um, body slime, all kinds of all kinds of stuff. It comes in these little packets right here. And as you can see, I have one open and I have already put it into the uh, container here. Now the container has uh, two cups of my tank water in it. Now I did a water change today, so I have the rest of the water here that I took out of the tank already. And it's right around 78 degrees. I just put a thermometer in there. So basically what you do is you fill up two cups of water with the uh, with tank water. Uh, if you hear the noise in the background, it's my dogs chewing on a bone. But um, yeah, so anyways, you take two cups of the tank water, and I know people recommend on the reforms that they use new water. I actually like to use tank water because it's what my zoanthids are used to. And as you can see, I have my, my Zorock in there right now. So, and I put them in there when they're open. I don't close them. It's been working for me. This is my fourth treatment. And what you do after you put the water in, you put in, you open a packet, which you're supposed to cut open because uh, there's no tear uh, portion. So you cut it open, dump it in, and swirl it around. And I use the turkey baster to stir it around. And once it's stirred and it's all dissolved, it, at least when I think it's all dissolved, then I add the zoanthids to it. Now what I do now is is every two or three minutes I basically just hit them with some blasts of water to get all the get all the crap off and even any furin too that's still particleized I uh, if that's even a word I, it'll little it'll settle on top and so you just want to make sure the water just keeps keeps staying mixed and uh, that's the third or fourth time that I've done that. So it's been about 12 minutes now that they've been sitting in there. And I, I generally do 15 minutes. Now, I'll tell you that it was a little too late for some of my zoos, but the ones that had the fungus on them and they weren't opening, or they were opening just a little bit, you, I know it's frustrating to not have uh, corals open, but I um, he told me to try this. And after the third treatment, it's worked. It They started to open back up, and I even saved a couple which was pretty good. Some were just too far gone and I couldn't save them. So, um, and basically what I do is after it's done in this dip, after 15 minutes, I take it, I put it in here, I drop it in there and I, I hit it with the turkey baster again. I blow off anything that might still be on there and then I put it back in the tank. And that's it. It's been working great for me. I hope it's helpful for you. Any questions, you know, feel free to ask. Uh, I was a little skeptical at first because it doesn't say it's a coral treatment. It's basically for fish disease, but he says for some reason it uh, it works great on the zoos. I haven't tried it on anything else, so if you're asking about other corals, uh, I can't uh, I can't speak for that. So, anyways, yeah, I did. Uh, it's recommended if it's a heavy disease, three to four tr days in a row. Um, this is my fourth day in a row doing this and the zoos open back up within, you know, two or three minutes after going back in the tank and I've seen some incredible results. So, uh, I'm a believer in this product and I hope this helps. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Remember, if you like the video, like it, subscribe and any comments, just leave them below. Thanks again.